Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Just got an haircut this morning, first haircut of the new year, looking after that to barnet. And now we're gonna look after under the barnet of the car. Um, yes, if you remember from the previous video, I'm gonna start like trying to look after the car a bit more and do more maintenance jobs. So today we are installing a brand new Orcs belt, auxiliary belt, serpentine team belt, I've also seen it called. Basically the belt that runs to the alternator and the aircon pulley as well, I think. This isn't pretty much to solve a problem because I don't think this is going to solve my battery. Not, it's not obviously not a battery problem, but my, my starting issues, it's not going to, I don't think it'll solve that. But my belt is brown and crack, like little cracks everywhere, so it needs changing. So I'm just going to do that anyway. Plus, it's another, pardon me, flipping heck, video that can help some of you guys if you're wanting to change one of these yourself. The one that I have got is not official Honda, it is a Gates, this is Micro V, I'm guessing that's just like the model or the brand or the, the thing. It does say OE quality, so it should be as good quality as the Honda one, but it's a lot, lot cheaper. Um, and I got it through eBay, it had a good ratings on it as well. It was through a shop called JDM Garage on eBay, so give them a little shout out as well. Anyway, the sun's still up, which we know this time of year is never long. We're gonna whack a coat on, luckily it's not raining, and uh, we're gonna get started. Right, I apologize if there's any wind noise because it's a really windy day today. But I'm basically, well, I've never done this before, I'm not having any help, so I'm basically going off online forums and videos that other people have put on of doing the same kind of thing. But one of the key things I've seen that most people have said is get the driver's side wheel off and take the lining out and then you can get to where all the pulleys are so that's the first thing we're going to do and just get that out of the way so we've got the low profile jack i'm just doing it on the jacking point which is just i'll show you actually just at the end of the door under the sill there's like a like a really hard welded bit pop that up and then i'll jack it on the axle so that uh, it's nice and sturdy and we'll get it off and F2 chassis is. That stiff. Right, so the wheel is now off. I'm guessing the piece I need to be unclipping is these two clips here, because that piece of trim is separate to this whole wheel arch section. I don't think it's gonna be in this bit because that's like behind the headlight and the, and the front bumper. Anyway, that piece of trim is, this is all connected to the under tray. So hopefully them two pieces released. Sorry, I've just smacked you in the face. Uh, well, that might be able to pull down if we can get to it. So let's have a look. I don't think these clips are that old either. That one's not even pushed in, so that's gonna be easy. Yeah, straight out. Oh, wait for me. It's always good, and I'll say this in every video with clips. It's always good to have spare clips. Luckily, I don't think these are gonna get damaged, so. They are disgusting though. I do need to clean these wheel wells. Come on. Whoa. Oh no, it's still attached further down. I can see the pulley though, so that's good. Right, I haven't taken out any more clips, but I put the engine on and span the wheel full lock right so that the, the caliper's out of the way. But if you look under here, you might be able to see there's like a plastic tab that's connected to this piece there, look, it's just hanging down. It goes into a hole there, which like makes it like a jigsaw puzzle piece up to this line in here. So I've just got that out with a screwdriver and that comes down here now you can see the pulley there i think that's the crank pulley don't 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 quote me I'd, i'm not gonna lie i don't know I've, I've looked through it and i think i know the correct terms i think i know what's what but one thing i need to do is make take a mental note or take a photo of the actual path of the belt, belt so that i put it on the correct way again now you will see there's a little bit of oil in there as well that's because i did something stupid that i forgot to tell you about that i did a couple of months ago where do you know we put the nice uh, MJC washers and nuts on the rocker cover and we got it all painted. Well, I didn't exactly talk them to spec and I, I kind of rushed them on because we were going to a cars and coffee and I didn't tighten up enough. 
And basically, we hit VTEC and it boiled over like a saucepan. So I've learned that lesson and then I'll tighten off. So <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna wipe that down a bit as well before we carry on. I will say, you can see that pulley there, but there's another one down there, so I'm probably I'm gonna have to take this piece off as well, unfortunately. So we'll, we'll do that and I'll, I'll, I'll show you what we've got. Right, why does every job you ever do on this car involve taking all of this stupid trimming off? Either way, it's off. Loads of clips out of here. Loads of clips from under here. They're the clips. They're the clips. I'm sorry, that's as much as you're getting. Because I'm I'm sick of explaining them where them clips are and everything. You can see them, trust me. But you can see through there now, that's the shiny pulley right there, so we can get to that. Right now, to take this belt off, which I've been doing this for like over an hour now. I'll explain why. You've got you've got to release the tension on this belt. So this is the tensioner pulley which you have to move um, so that it releases the slack so you can take the belt off. There's a knack that you can do with spanners, but I dropped a spanner down the engine bay. Right, pal. Hey, how are you? You alright? Not bad, are you? Yeah, not bad. Happy New Year. Good. Yeah, Happy New Year to you. <laughs> I've had to undo all the under tray under here. She's dear look. Right, I left the under tray off so that I can get to it if I drop it again, but just try to be quick because it is getting dark really, really fast. The knack is, not this top pulley, pulley here, it's this one down here. If you pop on a 14 mil spanner like that, just make sure you don't drop it obviously, and then you use a socket wrench, that should fit in, and it should be enough leverage to release it. And then we can pull off the bell. Oh God, I'm dropping it, I'm dropping it. <sighs> okay, so as I'm pulling on that, I'll see if I can show you. That's creating slack on this by spinning that round. If this flings off, I'm buggered. See that's slacker now. I should really have that the other way around. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's annoying because my spanner's really short. Easy, easy release. Watch that hard line. Oh god, I nearly had that then. Right. That's that bit done. Right, so the belt is finally off now. So look at the comparison of these. That's the old belt, old brown. It's all like frayed and cracked all the way through it. Can't really see that on there, but that's in loads better condition. So that's just gonna be a good peace of mind when we get that on. Now I've heard the main knack to feed it through the top because it's harder to obviously feed upwards. A good thing to kind of remember as well is anything that's got a groove on it is for the inside of the belt and anything that's smooth is going to be for the outside of the belt I think. Back underneath. I'm just going to hook it around this top one for now just so I know it's not going to fall through or anything like that. I know it needs to go around this front one so I'll put it around the front one. So the top ones are pretty much in order that will leave that slacked off because that's where we're going to need the tensioner released first to be able to slip it onto this top pulley here. Now if we come underneath we can see the belts come down here. So that needs to go around this underneath and then round underneath the one at the front there. So let's get that done as well. It's going to be quite hard to do with one end because I can't be asked to adjust my tripod all the way down here again. So let's see if we can do this. It goes under there. Focus again. So crap for focusing this camera. And then I've got to get that one down there. So I'm gonna need two hands for this, so I'm gonna put you down for a second, guys, and I'll show you where we are. Right, so if we look through the top, very, very deep, deep down there, that's a, very, that's a pulley bang in the middle there. So that's round that one at the bottom, and then there's another one further back, right down there. That's another one there at the bottom. I'll show you underneath so you can see it from both angles. That's the one I'm talking about, and the other one that was there at the front. So they're around there. Then it comes back on itself and goes round that big pulley there on its back. Both weave up here. One goes around that one. The back of it goes around that one. And then this is the one that we're gonna feed it back onto at the top. So fingers crossed, it's all aligned and we're all in good order. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna film putting it back on because it's the tension pulley again that I just need to do. Slip it back on and then uh, we'll see if it runs okay. Okay, so now that is on. I kind of like it with all this like, manufacture stuff on it as well that's pretty cool and I found it was easier instead of having this last to put on I kind of rubbed it round there first 
then pulled the tension and then pushed it underneath the tension pulley instead because it was impossible whilst this was pulled all the way back to then get the belt past your own wrench and then weave it up and above without losing it off that one so I'd put it on that try to put it on that one instead of putting it on this one I made a right mess of this hard line as well look at the state of this what a flipping idiot but well I'll not do that again that's for sure oh and I'm gonna get that span out of there as well it's a good job it's saying spanner because in total I have dropped it down there about four times today so I'm gonna check everything's lined up properly just to double check and then we'll start it up It should say, nothing's misaligned, nothing's catching, nothing's ripping. Brilliant. Right guys, it's been a few days now. It's not solved any issues, but there are no extra issues from it being fitted, which says to me that I fitted it correctly. So, that should also mean that I have informed you correctly on how to fit one, so that's always a bonus. <laughs> I hope that this has helped some of you guys out. Uh, it's definitely helped me out trying to do it and learning how to do it and looking at other guides and things online as well but hopefully this can just like round it all up in one easy video for you to watch which is my aim if you did enjoy this video or if you enjoyed any of my videos please like and subscribe to the channel and please click the little bell button so it reminds you when a fresh video does come on and until next time guys like i always say enjoy the rest of your day bye sure.